Hello, hello. For this tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys how to add lives to your HUD and how to make them count down as the player dies. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the game type. And we're going to declare our integer variable for lives. So I'm going to call it int my lives is the variable. And then we're going to write a lose live function that can be called from elsewhere. So we're going to do lose live and then we're going to do my lives minus minus and then we're also going to write an if check to make sh to end the game if lives is equal to negative one. If my lives is equal to negative one we're going to do console command uh, quit what this is going to do is close out UDK when my lives equals zero. Um, the last thing we do for the HUD is we're going to add my lives equal three at the bottom, so we're going to give the player three lives. All right, the next step we need to do is the HUD. So we're going to switch over to my tutor HUD, and we're going to draw our function here. So we do function draw lives HUD open bracket, close bracket. We're going to start off with doing some local variables. So local world info first. World info. Local tutor game is next. So we'll have your game type. And then we're going to do some typecasting to make sure that they actually are converted properly. So our world info equals class world info dot static dot get world info then we're going to write an if check to make sure that world info is not equal to zero or, or not equal to none so not equals none and if it's true then we're going to set our game to the instance of game pulled by world info and then we're going to write another if check if to make sure that our game is not equal to none and then in here is where we're going to draw our stuff so if our game equals to none or does not equal none excuse me we're going to draw our canvas position I'm going to put it at 1010 so it's in the top right hand corner we're going to do canvas font equals font UI. Let's do the Posidic 18 because I like how it looks. And then we're going to do canvas dot set draw color to 255 to make it red. And then we're going to do the actual lives draw. So draw lives to. Uh, all right, in this canvas dot draw text function, I'm going to draw a string that actually says lives, and then attach it to whoop, our game dot my lives. So it's going to say lives colon and then show how many lives we have. Now that we've got the function drawn, make sure that you actually call it in your draw HUD function. And then now it'll work, but it won't count down because we haven't actually pulled in the player death pawn. I'm going to show you what it looks like so you can actually see where it is. And it's in the top left hand corner. So if I jump off the side here and die, nothing happens. I just respawn. So that's the first step, the first two steps. Now, in our pawn class, we need to pull the player dying function from UT pawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to definition, and then I'm going to search for play dying, and copy and paste this entire function. There's a ton of stuff in here. 
and if you're planning on using the pond generally the way that it is you want to keep everything that's in here so what I do is I'm just going to leave everything here I'm going to add in my stuff next to it so we're going to do tutor game equals our game and we're going to do we're going to typecast it to make sure that it's actually working and then we're going to write our if check if our game oops, our game does not equal none then we're going to call in our lose live function here so we're going to do our game dot lose life <coughs> what this will do is when the player dies it's going to call this function in tutor game so our lose live function is going to decrement lives by one and if my lives equals negative one it will quit the game so we're going to hit play I'm going to show you I'm going to kill myself four times so it'll close out my UDK so we got three we'll jump off the side right here boom right there's negative two one zero and that's it you see it go to negative one and then kill the game there you go that's how you draw lives to the HUD and how you implement them via your player dying during your game type um, the next video I'm going to do is going to show you how to place or create an actor and place it in the game itself so it'll increment your lives to give you live pickups. Uh, my name is Alex Macon. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And, um, yeah, come back.